Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at stochastic processes and in particular what we're going to do is look at how to generate a random walk. So in this particular case what we're looking at here is a sequence of numbers that a sequence of outcomes that is either plus one or minus one it would be it will be plus one with a probability of p and a minus one with a probability of one minus p. Now you could also use the sample command to do something like that, but I actually, the approach I am about to propose uh, sort of guides you towards more sort of very subtle, elegant approaches, okay? So it's not just for this example, it just sort of opens up a Pandora's box, so to speak, of other numbers. So what I could do here is actually, let's just use the run if button, which generates some random numbers there. So I'll just pick output 5 okay and there we go that's uh, five realizations of the uniform distribution so they're all between 0 and 1 so what we could do first off is to amend it such that p percent of them in on average will be positive well, first off, let's assign a value P. I'm going to go for 0 0.4. And that means that 40% of them should be positive and 60% of them should be negative. Okay. So if I, I was to use this approach here, P minus run if, let's go for 5. There we go. So in this particular instance, actually, it turns out three of them are positive and two of them are negative. But we can, that 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 is beside the point right now okay uh, but so how can we turn that into a, a, a sequence of positive or negative numbers well what we can do is wrap the sign function around that there we go uh, let's increase the numbers the number of observations we have let's go for 100 there we go okay so yeah, I let you check that using the table command Okay, let's do that again, actually. So what I've done here is I have loaded the janitor package because I'm going to use a command there called tabl. I really like this command tabl, particularly when you're just getting frequency tables. Okay, and McGreeter, the second one there, that is for the pipe operator, which looks like that. Looks like that even. There we go. Perfect. So let's go back to what we're doing, and this is the sign of. Do you know what? Let's clear the screen. Sign of p minus run if. Let's go really large. There we go. Well, that's probably ten thousand is enough. Okay, there we have it. There. Can't really see what we're doing there. So what we can do there is go. Table, pipe operator, table. Give it a second there. So that's right, yeah, minus one is just short of 60%, and plus one is just coming up around 40%. So what we could also do is get the cumulative sum of that. The pipe operator is great for, you know, just checking out the, you know, it makes it makes the whole code easier to read. Cumulative sum. So what I want to do here is I might save that as an object. Okay, R W. Now, because what happens here is it gets a little bit hectic looking. Okay. So what I could do here is I could plot that RW and type equals line. Okay. Now I could use ggplot and stuff like that, but I'll just sort of stick to this for the time being. So this gives us a visualization of the random walk. I just put that back in the shot there. What I'll do is just go through this again. Okay. Because the probably 10,000 was a bit too much in this instance. So I'll just switch it back to 500 and we'll go again. There we go. 
So that's how to simulate random walk uh, with some very simple code.